Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about database. Database is a new playlist on our channel and this is going to be the first video of our new playlist called as database. This video is all about the introduction of database. A lot of people messaged, commented on my lot of YouTube videos saying that Manish, you should talk about database videos. Finally, I have started today. So let's get started guys if you really want to understand database in a really easy language just think about the information that you will be providing to the applications there are a lot of information like your date of birth your email id your mobile number your gender your nationality these are the information that you will be really providing to any application i'm sure you would have provided this kind of information to any application right now these informations are called as data and it will be stored in a place called as database this is just the beginning to understand how what exactly is database have you seen uh, whenever you log into the facebook or amazon just think about amazon or flipkart guys uh, the moment you log into the application amazon or flipkart when you use it for the first time you provide all your information to the application but when you use the same application next time it only tells you that hi manish or hi shubham it will tell your name that hello hello manish because it already know that Manish have logged into a, an application which is called as Amazon or Flipkart. The reason database is there today because it want to store all your data in a systematic manner. I'm sure you, you would have seen that whenever you log in with your mobile number and your password, it successfully get logged in and it will show your all the correct information that you have provided to the application all the information if you really take any e-commerce application even though you have uh, ordered some product 10 years back also but still all the information are still available there all details about what mode of payment did you use all the information are stored on the application and guys the information are not actually stored in the application the, the information are actually stored on the database so database is a place where all the information that you have provided to an application will be saved one more example whenever you use any application like instagram facebook or youtube uh, you go and post something there right like you go and upload your photo guys that photo that you upload on instagram or facebook is now getting saved to the instagram or facebook database guys anything that you do on any application whatever the information that you provide from your site if that application is now having all your information now is because database is saving all those information and guys for that reason next time when you log into that application it recognize that it is you and uh, all the information that you have saved it will never ask you again to provide your address again it will never ask you to provide your email id again because database has all your information that you have provided this is a use of database guys guys in your future videos of database playlist i'm going to show you exactly how database looks like and all the information that you really needed as of now this is what i can tell to you that it will just keep the information that you will provide to the application it will store it example many people are using a particular application so they will be using the application with their email id right so email id is one column which will be storing all the email ids of different people who will be using the application example if 100 thousand people are using the application called as Facebook with the help of their mobile number those mobile number will be getting stored in the database of Facebook so all the information that you provide to any application will be stored in the database guys just because I'm talking about database I should also talk about what is DBMS guys DBMS stands for database management system as the name suggests database management system to manage your database you need dbms it's a tool with the help of which you can access your database i hope the definition itself is very clear now so with the help of dbms whatever you want to do to your data you can really do it now what are things you can really do to your database i have already discussed this in my other videos called as api videos but still i will talk about it guys the different things that you can actually do to your data are you can perform crude functionality again create read update and delete so guys uh, we don't call crude in your database but yeah we can actually do that example we can create the new data into the database with the help of dbms which is a software which allows you to interact with the tool and create 
anything that you want to in a database it also allow you with the help of that tool to update any data if you want to it also allows you to fetch that data that is read that data and it also allows you to delete that data so guys dbms is a software it's a tool which allows you to interact with the database uh, whatever the database informations are available you can actually do anything to it with the help of dbms software that is i can actually fetch the data that fetching the data is nothing but i can actually read the data i can delete the data I can update the data and I can read, update, delete and I can also create the data. So this is what the DBMS is. Guys, in your future video, I'm going to talk separately about what exactly is DBMS and I'm going to show you practically how DBMS looks like. So nothing to worry about it. So guys, just because I'm talking about what is database and DBMS, I should also talk with you guys that what exactly is RDBMS. Guys, RDBMS is called as Relational Database Management System, which says that data into the database has to be stored in the form of a table. This is what the table looks like. So this is what relational database management system says us to store the data that you want to store in your database into this form, into the table form. Table will have a lot of columns in it and a lot of rows in it. If you have any doubt like what exactly is this table or rows and column, I'm sure you would have seen uh, Excel sheet, right? Excel sheet. So this, this is Excel sheet will be having rows and columns in it, right? The verticals are called as column, the horizontal are called as rows. In a similar manner, your data into the database will be stored in the form of a table which will be having columns and rows. So relational database management system, it says that we should store our data into the database in the form of table. Horizontal are called as rows. The different name that we have given to rows are row records and tuple. T-U-P-L-E. These are the different names that we have given to rows and as I already said you the verticals are called as column. The different name that is given to columns are attribute, field and column. So guys this is all about from this video. I have just given you the introduction about database, what is DBMS and what is RDBMS. Guys, in our upcoming classes, I'm going to show you practically how to actually work on the database, how to fetch the data, how to create the data, how to delete the data and how to update the data. So don't worry, this is just a beginning. Stay tuned. We'll learn more things in our upcoming videos. Thank you so much. If you have any doubt regarding this video, post all your doubt in the comment section. I will be really happy to clear all your doubt. But guys, I'm telling you in advance, there are a lot of things in database. Everything is not covered in this video. So stay tuned, wait for the another videos. It will come shortly. Thank you so much guys. Thank you.